Welcome back to The Rock AHS. I'm Nathan Morgan. And I'm Elijah Huerta. We have a good lineup of shows for you today. Here's Around the Corner. Amy Aggregard and Elijah Huerta have a segment explaining winter sports this year. With the rise in COVID cases in Skagit County, many of the fall and winter sports AHS offers, including football, cross country, volleyball, basketball, tennis, and swim have been pushed back, limited, or even canceled. With so much uncertainty, we decided to sit down with our high school's athletic director, Mr. Titus, to shed some light on the situation. Let's see, the most recent announcement was Sunday, which shut down all indoor practices and reduced outside pods to pods of six, no larger than six. And everybody has to wear a mask all the time, other than cross country runners when they're running. There has not been any changes to the current schedule as of today. Um, is there anything you wanna to say to the athletes that have been patiently waiting for their seasons? I, 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 I wanna say a lot of things <laughs> and I really just, I know you, I know that it's really hard for kids. It's hard for adults too, but I guess I can just hang in there. I know, I know that something's going to happen. It's going to be good for you guys. Instead of what's happened in the last nine months, what's actually been the most positive. Hang in there. I know I can't predict the future. I don't think anybody can. Um, we're all working our, tails off for you guys to try to get you to compete somehow somewhere at some level with somebody and when again we don't know what that'll look like again that's some of that might boil down to individual districts decisions about what they can allow or what they will or won't allow for us to be able to participate with other schools so I know lots lots more questions right now than answers which is frustrating for everybody involved. It is unfortunate to have to put more restrictions on our fall and winter sports. Hopefully we can get back to normal soon. For The Rocket AHS, I'm Amy Aggregard. Wow, it kind of sucks how students won't be able to get to play uh, sports this winter, especially with friends. Yeah, but it's best to keep everyone safe. Hey Nathan, guess what we have to show today? Enter? Yep, Gabe Burnett and Joni Amaya made a segment talking all about Edmentum. It's been a wild ride for students this semester. With the introduction of Edmentum, quite a lot of controversy has risen around it. Some students seem to dislike it, while others don't mind. My opinion on Edmentum isn't bad at all. I was expecting it to be a lot worse, especially because of like the reviews I had read about it online. But I think the system is super like effective. They show you, like you can just look at your class and you can see whether or not you're on pace. And all you have to do is make sure that, you know, your little icon is green and all of your work is completed. I think if I could change one thing about Edmentum, it'd be to have more in-person conversations. There's some assignments like discussion posts where we respond to a question and then everyone in the same class can read what you said. But that's about as far as the conversation between students goes. And I think that's kind of a loss, you know, because one of my favorite parts about school in person is that we were able to like reflect ideas back and forth and we don't really get that, that option anymore. The math department supports this curriculum. So since it will be around for a while, we interviewed around to see what the big deal is. Each hybrid subject area that uses Edmentum this year has its own reasons for choosing the program. So I can really only speak to um, why the math department decided to use Edmentum this year. So the curriculum that we were previously using in the classroom, as well as our newly adopted curriculum, are really dependent on student discourse, as well as people physically being in the classroom. And those curricula also did not provide much in the way of online learning support. Edmentum also provided the best flexibility for students to redo practice questions and quizzes um, with immediate feedback, as well as able to monitor their own progress. So it was really important for us that students had readily available resources already built into the program. And from the options that we were given, Edmentum provided that. Um, I would also say contact your teacher and, and don't give up. 
Um, teachers are available to you. They have open office hours every morning from 8 to 8.30. They're available during flex time on Tuesdays and Fridays from 1.40 to 3 and on Wednesdays from 9.30 to 1.30 barring any you know, other meetings or lunchtime. So we're available and happy to help you. You just need to reach out to us. Well, that was informative. We know that Admentum isn't perfect, but we all need to give it our best. Like Yoda said, do or do not, there is no try. This is Gabe Burnett with The Rock, signing off. I know that Admentum is supposed to be helpful, but it's, it's pretty difficult to deal with, in my opinion. I have not been introduced to Edmentum before, so I have no idea how difficult Edmentum really is. Like you, but we have one last segment this year. Abby Perez and I made a segment to guide you in this year's Black Friday. Black Friday is right around the corner. I'm sure you've seen the many ads already all over the internet. This tradition of mass hysteria over deals to get Christmas shopping done clearly won't be able to happen normally this year, as not only is COVID-19 still ruthlessly rampant, but our state is now under a second quarantine. Retail stores are only open at 25% capacity, which means if you do decide to shop in person, lines will be even longer than normal. Most stores are holding their sales online this year, so not only is it much safer to stay home, but it's so much easier. You can find all of the good deals that you are looking for in the comfort of your own home. Most ads are on the store's website, or you can find them by searching Black Friday and the name of the store. While Black Friday is a great time to take advantage of the sales from larger corporations, it's also a great time to consider buying from small and local shops. Many smaller businesses rely on holiday shopping to keep them up and running, so don't let the abundance of ads cloud your vision when looking for places to shop. We've got so many wonderful places in town that would appreciate your sales. Just be sure that if these stores don't have online shopping options, if you do go out in person, you are wearing your mask, keeping your distance from others, and not touching everything in sight. Carry hand sanitizer with you to use in between stores, and try to limit your shopping trips if you can. It'll make it easier for you too. Stay safe this shopping season. From the Rock at Anacortes High School, I'm Allie Perez. Hmm, that guy was very informative. I might actually use it this year. But I believe that wraps up our show for this week. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to email us at therock at asd103.org. We'd like to hear your feedback. And with that, I'm Elijah Huerta. And I'm Nathan Morgan. And from our rock to yours, have a great day, HS.